What's up guys, it's your boy Nerd Kavius, back at again with another video, and today, as you guys can see from the title, I am showing you how auto launch works with my Zod Copilot that I have installed into my uh, Sonic Model Mini Air wing, my 600mm FPV wing. And yes, this video is kind of a spoiler that I did successfully made in the Sonic Model Mini Air wing. That will be my next video of the... Uh, of my channel, uh, the Maiden that I went out. Uh, so I'm recording this on what's today, January 26th. I literally went out yesterday. So January 25th is when I recorded this. And uh, you guys will be seeing this probably January, probably today, tw January 26th, or maybe tomorrow, January 27th. And then I'll have the flight video or the the successful Maiden. Two flights too as well, it wasn't just one. I, I got to use both batteries that I ordered from Banggood, uh, and then those. So, uh, yes, like I said, auto launch on this thing works perfectly, or like you guys will hear me say in the video, auto launch on this thing works absolutely perfectly. Uh, the Zod Copilot is a very, very dialed in flight controller for the price and the, uh, you know, versatility of it. It's, you really can't go wrong with a Zod Copilot. Especially like uh, if you're very uncomfortable launching a couple of planes, then the Zod Copilot will do it for you. Uh, the only thing you have to do is lower the rates. You um, you don't want to put too much rates. If you guys saw my Sonic model, uh, like the first Maiden, I'll link the card up. You just know that I had too much rates. If I just move the plane just a little bit, those, those elevators are just going up. And that's what just caused me to crash, honestly. But now I lowered the rates and you guys will see that in the next video. But uh, yeah, so before I even go on again, the next video, it's a little bit messed up. I kind of kind of didn't know what I was recording. So I'm probably going to show clips and then I'm going to like talk through the FPV footage and then uh, do intro outro. It's going to be like the same way with the eSky, but it's going to be a little bit more messy. I'm sorry about that, guys. But yeah. Uh, all right. I'll show you guys the clip uh, of what I did and then I'll come back with the outro and we'll conclude everything. All right. See you right there. Okay, yeah, we have satellites satellites have been obtained so last thing is to get the transmitter back on my lanyard and auto launch this thing again auto launch works beautiful by the way the Zod Copilot is made beautifully and it's literally a, the, a steal like an absolute steal $40, $50 and you have a multi not a, a multi plane not a multi like like you can't like switch in and out but any plane, T-tail, wing, V-tail. If you just want a stabilizer and a return to home, but without you know having to have a camera and all that stuff, you get the Zod Copilot. And the only reason I put it in this wing is because it fits. Who knows? Maybe after a while, maybe after like a year of flying this thing, I'll put a WSE from Maytech. But until then, I'm happy. You know, no OSD. You know. And just flying fast, you know. Oh man, I can't wait. All right, so let's get the lanyard back on, and you guys will see me do that because there's really no point of me actually, you know, editing this part. All right, so that's that confirms where it's stabilized, throttle works. All right, let's go launcher. So we're in return to home switch. You put a little bit of throttle that you want, so you could control throttle and return to home, by the way. And you just give her a nice hefty toss. Just like that. And then she goes into return to home. Well, as you guys saw, auto launch works absolutely beautifully in this Sonic Metal Mini Air wing. Uh, so if you guys saw, remember the card I linked up of the first Sonic Model video? Uh, it just, once you took off, it would oscillate a lot because the throws were too high. So once I lowered them, it, it was good. Uh, you guys will see in the next video that the throws are a little bit, just a tiny bit too high. So I'm, I just lowered them when I got back home. But yeah, so just to reiterate for some people that still don't know like what I mean is you, you kind of like, well, what I did specifically, let's first start off. I walked away from where I was standing. I was standing in the, in the corner of the field. And the reason why I didn't plug in my plane there is because that's where the return to home circle radius is going to pinpoint from. So if I did that, the plane would pretty much be circling over the water 
and it still did it but not as much as it would have been if i literally like connected my battery where i was uh stationed at and so what you have to do like i said to reiterate is so on my fly sky i have it so that this switch right here is uh so this is stabilized all the way at the top you go into manual that is manual like i said so what i did also is i also have a low rate switch on manual because if you um i'm pretty sure i said this before if not this is going to be a new video uh this will be in the next video sorry uh the reason is is because the reason why i don't have low rates like all the time is because i'm stabilized the stabilization lowers your rates automatically so when you go into manual mode you you have full control like full up elevator full down elevator so that's why i made a a uh a manual switch so that when i'm in manual i just have to press down on that switch and it has a low rate and i think i have like 50 percent ailerons and like 60 percent elevator and then when you're back in stabilize you want to make sure that you hit that switch back up because your stabilization is going to feel like you're going to feel like you're, you can barely turn. And that's the reason because you're still low rates. So we have stabilized on top, manual in the middle, return to home. Now return to home once you gain satellites. And the way that you test if you gain satellites is A, listen to the plane, the, the co-pilot. Uh, or B, you just go into stabilized and you throttle up just a little bit. And if the, if the prop moves, you have set full satellites. If it doesn't, it's still looking for satellites. You go to return to home all the way down switch down and you just put throttle to where you want it it needs throttle so if you have nothing and you throw it it's not going to spin up it needs it needs your input for throttle i kind of set mine to here like to the middle because honestly this thing with the prop uh has a very very good uh like cruising speed like it doesn't really need that much throttle to get up in the air because this thing does not weigh a lot and you give it a nice toss and i think it has to be like i think this thing has like a three meters uh per second uh like minimum like once it kicks in for the prop to spin but just give it a nice toss, just a nice toss nothing soft but nothing like you can throw it hard as you want but like just make sure that it's just pointing straight and level and that's it it will take off and it will climb up to like i think 70 or 90 meters andrew newton has a video on that and it, it will just circle around. The circle radius is a little big, uh, but that's pretty much it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I, I do love the speed on this thing. You guys will see in the next video that this thing has crazy speed. And I did just buy a 5. This is a 5 by 4.5 prop right here that's on it, the stock prop. I just bought a 5 by 5.5 tri prop. Yeah. I want I want the maximum speed I can get out of this thing on 3S. This thing's already fast, and I can't imagine a bigger pitch plus a one extra blade. Oh, this thing is gonna be, whew, this thing is gonna be insane. So that is pretty much my video of the autopilot uh, auto takeoff. Uh, I know it's not like the shortest video in the world, but I just wanted to tell you guys everything so you guys can know and uh, you guys don't mess up anytime soon. And yeah, it's so when you're running your hobbyist, quick little video. Next video will be the successful maiden of this thing after two months of waiting. And yeah, keep flying RC, keep flying RC, keep driving RC, and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Peace!